Hello, welcome back to BAME Farm. This is kind of a follow-up video um, to the video where I brought those calves home. Um, I used a TC-30 and pulled the cattle trailer around the corner here to go get those calves. And there were a handful of comments um, with great suggestions, so I followed them um, to fix a little problem. Because you see, that's not good, or that, or it rolls over. And I always wanted, or thought I wanted, one of those contraptions where you had to use the top link. Well, I mean, that's kind of cumbersome. You always have to have the top link hooked up. And maybe that eliminates having the use of this hole here in the middle, because some people I've seen make them, they'll just bolt, say, a chunk of box and make a spot for the top link to hook up. Now, I mean, that's a rather crude homemade job, but, you know, that's kind of kind of what fits my budget. Well... Say I splurged, it really didn't cost that much. It was a whopping twenty dollars. And I got one of these things. So what is it? Um well it's a mystery. Not really. I'll show you guys here in a second. Um but this, if you can figure out how it works with all the many holes, notches, and then that big hole, how it keeps the draw bar from spinning. I'm going to spin like it's playing roulette. Well, we're going to start out. We're going to turn it up the way we want it. Sort of. Pull our clip off. Take it out of the arm. And then with our foot, hold it up. Now the square hole goes over the rectangular bar. By square, I mean it's not round. We slide everything back together as best as we can with one hand. So yeah, the GoPro was out of battery, so I'm using my phone right now. And we swing it back up, and voila, it locks over the three-point arm. Now why is there a notch in that hole? Well, that is called manufacturing prowess. Now, I've seen this and heard of some uh, corporate lawsuits because of cutting corners. Well, what what that does, it's just saving chunks of metal. The, whoever engineered it didn't think they needed that too much metal right there, and they didn't think they needed that whole worth of metal in that position, so they cut it out. They melt it down and they reuse it to make more parts. Now, I've heard of doing something similar where they skimp on thickness of material. Uh, that was a big um, guardrail scandal. That manufacturer wasn't using heavy enough material. They were skimping on the um, the gauge of the steel. It was a little too thin. And then the end product wasn't f functioning properly when cars ran into it. So that was a bit of a debacle. I forget where that was. So back to uh, the more important story at hand. We got a Category 1. And luckily our three-point arms are thin enough. And not too tall. Slide the bolt through, and we got a nut, and we twist the nut on. And I have things to tighten that. I got the impact in a wrench back here, but this is tight enough, so we get an idea how it works. Now, there's a little bit of roll. However, you know, if the three point's higher, I need it to roll back, or if it's low, it can roll forward. But if you make it too tight, Start having, say, if I'm pulling a wagon with a hitch pin through this, the pin will start binding and it won't roll. So, and then I'll bend the pin, and then it'll be really fun to extract it. So, we're, uh, now that we got it all hooked up here, we can hook the trailer up and go for a ride. Kinda missed. Eh, close enough, it'll slide. Well, if I was better at backing up, wouldn't have to do this. But voila, there it's on. 
We lift up the three point. I don't even have to jack that up. Oh yeah. So easy. No more cranking the handle. It's great. I probably should lock this. I'm just backing it up. We got a steer to load tonight that goes out in the morning. Ah, but if I lock it, then I gotta get it unlocked. Because I'm just going back around the barns. I have no clue how great that turning angle is now. You gotta watch as I come around the old silo foundation how close I get. Woo! Come on. Now the tight gets the gets a little tight. Now right now I'd probably be rubbing my tire over there in that corner. But I've still got room. Now it's not as perfect as if I had a nice trailer hitch sticking out. I do have a little bit of limitation down there as you can see. Um, but this is a vast improvement. It's fantastic. I can make this tight corner. And I'll probably leave it so we have to use the truck to back it up the last few feet because the cattle will lick the trailer and destroy it if I leave it there too long. Oh yeah. Say hi guys. Moo. I might have to get I'm actually using the camera to see where I'm going. That's convenient. And now that I'm on the draw bar, I can swing the trailer better instead of pulling right between the wheels, where swinging is almost as bad as using a fifth wheel. That's a pain in the butt. Okay. Let it roll straight forward so the steers hopefully can't reach it. We'll put drop the trailer. 